بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah The subject of this series of lectures is topographic maps It consists of three parts Part 1 gives general outlines of topographic maps Part 2 demonstrates manual drawing of topographic maps and part 3 deals with computer drawing of topographic maps part 3 computer drawing of topographic maps the surfer 11 software has been selected for computer drawing of topographic contour lines of the exercise map see parts 1 and 2 of the lectures this version of the software is available free from the internet and may be installed from many sites. The differences between this version and other preceding versions, for example 9 and 10, are slight as far as the present application is concerned. The manuals, Surfer Getting Started Guide and Surfer 11 Self-Paced Training Guide are also available free from the internet. Both of these references were used in this part of the lecture. It is not intended here to give the details or the advantages of the surfer software. Such objectives are available in the literature, for example the above mentioned references. The main aim is rather to explain a computer technique of drawing topographic maps and to compare it with the manually drawn one through solving a hypothetical exercise. To follow this lecture step by step, you need to have the Surfer 11 or 10 software installed in your computer. To begin with, scan the exercise map sheet, see figure 1, and save it, say as exercise map file. Double click the Surfer's icon a window inside which a rectangular frame in the center appears as in figure 2. If there are no rulers along the top and left margins of the window, then click the view tab on the title bar and check in the ruler. You can choose the units of the rulers by clicking tools on the title bar, go to options, then general, and then select the appropriate units from the page units. If there is no status bar along the bottom edge, then click the view tab and check in the status bar. To open the exercise map by the surfer, open the surfer, go to file, then import, then folder of the map, that is exercise map, click it, then click open. The map will appear on the surfer's window, see figure 3. Note that the scanned map may appear distorted if you open it directly by the surfer. However, if the map is already opened by another software, for example, the Paint of Microsoft Office software, you may copy it, then paste it on the surfer. To make computer drawing of the contour lines, the exercise map must be digitized, that is to say, convert the locations of the primary points to digital form in terms of x, y, and z coordinates. Note that the z coordinate represents the elevation and it's written adjacent to each point on the map. More than one technique may be used for map digitization. One way is by assigning an origin and use a ruler and a triangle to measure the x and y coordinates of each point. A list of the X, Y, and Z coordinates typed on three columns of an Excel sheet of all the points may be prepared this way. However, this approach is tedious and cumbersome. Another method is to open the exercise map file with the Paint Microsoft Office software and use its rulers to read the X and Y coordinates of the elevation points, then Save the three coordinates, X, Y, and Z, of all the points in an Excel sheet. Note that, in the paid software, the origin of measurements is the top left corner. 
and the unit of measurement of the rulers is the pixel. However, in the surfer software, the origin on the bottom left corner and the unit of measurement is the centimeter. The easiest way is to use the surfer for map digitization. This will be explained in some details later on, but let us first save the exercise map and show few of the surfer's user interface. Open the map by the surfer as before. Next, click the view tab on the menu bar of the surfer's window. Click fit to window as in figure 3a, then save it say as exercise plot 1. Note that the origin of the surfer's coordinate axis coincides with the bottom left corner of the rectangular outer frame, figure 4. One, two, or three sets of figures may appear on the status bar on the right side of the bottom edge. The left is the cursor map coordinates, the middle is the cursor page coordinates, and the right is the dimensions, figure 5. When no object is selected, or no surfer's map on the window, only one set, cursor page coordinates appears. It displays the X and Y coordinates of the cursor position relative to the surfer's origin, figure 6. When an object that is not drawn by the surfer is selected, such as a map sheet, two sets of figures appear. The left one, cursor page coordinates, gives the X and Y coordinates of the cursor position relative to the surfer's origin, and the right set gives the dimensions of the selected object, figure 7. When an object is selected, such as a surfer's map, three sets of figures appear on the bottom status bar. The cursor map coordinates gives the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the cursor position inside the map relative to the map's origin. The middle set cursor page coordinates gives the X and Y coordinates of the cursor position relative to the surfer's origin. The right set displays the dimensions of the selected object, figure 8. When a map is clicked, a status control bar in which a set of four figures appears on the upper toolbar. The first two figures display the X and Y coordinates of the map's left and bottom edges, respectively. By pressing the triangular arrows, one can move the map at will. The third and fourth figures give the width W and height H of the selected map. By pressing the triangular arrows, the width and height of the map can be changed as required. Figure 9. The subsequent procedure may be followed to digitize the exercise map and draw the contour lines using the Surfer 11 software. Step 1. Read and record the X and Y coordinates of the four corners of the exercise map frame, that is, exercise plot 1. By pinpointing the cursor on any corner, you can read its coordinates from the status bar on the bottom edge, figure 10. Step 2. Open the surfer, click File, then New, then Worksheet. A worksheet appears as in figure 11. The first three columns, A, B, and C, of the worksheet are assigned to the X, Y, and Z coordinates respectively. By pinpointing the arrow's head at a point on the map, its X and Y coordinates appear on the status bar. Thus, one may type the values of its coordinates on the worksheet, then move to another point and record its coordinates, and so on, until the coordinates of all the points are documented. Figure 12.
save the worksheet save as coordinates exercise 1 step 3 open the server click grid on the toolbar then click data in the open data window see figure 13 click the name of the data file coordinates exercise 1 then click open a grid data window will appear as in figure 14 if the grid report box in the grid data window is checked then uncheck it since you don't need it in this example step 4 make the following changes in the grid data window 1. change the values of the minimum and maximum x direction to 5.54 and 15.34 respectively 2. change the values of the minimum and maximum y direction to 8.03 and 20.65 respectively see figure 15 then click OK click OK again on the next appearing window the screen should now be empty apart from rectangular frame step 5 click the map tab on the title bar then new then contour map an open grid window will appear as in figure 16 click the coordinates exercise 1 grid file then click open a contour map will appear as in figure 17 on double clicking the map a property manager map contours window will appear left the map click levels then minor contours then check the show labels box this will label all the contour lines of the map with their elevations figure 18 from the levels open font properties click foreground color click the small box custom colors in the adjacent rectangle then click one of the red hexagons the color of the contour values becomes red figure 19 on double clicking top axis of the map the property manager map top axis window will open left of the contour map click ticks then in the major and minor ticks reduce the value of length to zero all ticks of the top axis will disappear figure 20 Click right axis of the map, then reduce the values of length in the major ticks and minor ticks to zero. All ticks on the right axis will disappear. Figure 21. Click bottom axis of the map, then reduce the values of length in the major ticks and minor ticks to zero. From the general of the property manager map bottom axis, go to tables, then uncheck the show box. All numbers and ticks of the bottom axis will vanish. Figure 22. Click left axis of the map, then reduce the values of length in the major ticks and minor ticks to zero. From the general of the property manager map left axis, go to labels, then uncheck the show box. All numbers and ticks of the left axis will vanish. Figures 23 and 24. Step 6. Save the map, say as semi-final contour map. It represents the final contouring of the exercise. We are going to use it subsequently after showing few other options of map displaying hereafter. Drawing a profile. To draw a profile between any two points on the map, click the map, then click map tab on the toolbar, go to add, then profile. Pinpoint the cursor on the starting point of the profile and click it, then move the cursor to the end point and double click it. The profile will be drawn below the map, figure 25.
click the profile a property manager profile window will open left the map you may adjust the distance height and other profile property from the property manager figure 26 other options of map presentation double click the map a property manager map contours window will appear go to levels then fill contours then check the boxes of fill contours and color scale this will fill the area between successive contour lines with gray color tones and a color scale is added figure 27 from the property manager map contours go to levels then field contours then click the fill colors and click the rectangle next to it a small window color map will open click the triangle of the preset then choose the rainbow for example the map will color as in figure 28 instead of the gray tunes you may change the map colors using different choices from the color map window click the map then from the toolbar click map go to add then click post layer an open data window will appear click the triangle in the rectangle next to files of type then click all files star dot star all surface data files shall appear see figure 29 click coordinates exercise 1 bln file then click open a post map of the elevation points appears superimposed on the contour map, figure 30. Double click the map, the property manager map post window will appear left the map, figure 31. Click labels, then place the pointer on top of the worksheet it becomes yellow, that is to say activate it. Click it. Then click the small triangle next to it. Then click column C. The elevations of the points appear on the map as in figure 32. In the property manager map post click general. In the default symbol click and open marker property then symbol then click the triangle next to it and choose the black circle as the symbol instead of the cross in the default symbol click color then click the rectangle next to it then choose green color in the symbol size reduce the size to 0.1 centimeter the map becomes as in figure 33 you can acquaint yourself with other options and explore the capabilities and applications of the Surfer 11. The Surfer help and the aforementioned references are of great assistance in this respect. Finally, open the exercise map, exercise plot 1, figure 4, and open the semi-final contour map figure 23 click the semi-final contour map go to edit then copy then paste it on the map of exercise plot 1 the contour map will appear superimposed on the exercise map but with different dimensions figure 34 resize the contour map to that of the exercise map so that complete superposition and full coincidence between both maps occur. You may use either the small squares on the sides and corners of the map or the top status control bar scale for moving and resizing the map to achieve full coincidence. Figures 35 and 36. At the end of this lecture, let us look at a visual comparison between the manual drawing, see part 2 of the lectures, 
and computer drawing of the exercise map figures 37 and 38. The conclusions are left to the reader. This is the end of the third and last part of the lectures. Hope it was useful to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.